morning students today we are going to start the new lesson that is my childhood it is actually an extract from wings of fire written by apj abdul kalam i don't have to give you more introduction about apj abdul kalam you all know about him now before you read can you think of any scientist who have also been uh, statesman so you have to find out our answers second one is apj abdul kalam whose projects in space defense and nuclear technology guided india into the 21st century became an 11th president in 2012 in his autobiography wings of fire he speaks of his childhood i don't know how many of you read this book this is a very good book wings of fire let us begin the lesson i was born into a middle class tamil family it is an autobiography so who is uh, telling you all these stories it is uh, written by whom apj abdul kalam i was born into a middle class tamil family in the island town of rameswaram in the erstwhile madras state erstwhile means it was former earlier it was uh, connected to which state madras my father jainuladdin had neither much formal education nor much wealth despite these disadvantages he possessed great innate wisdom and true generosity of spirit so uh, we all know if you visit uh, rameshwaram you can see his uh, you can also visit uh, whose house also apj abdul kalam's house also so in, in the first floor uh, they made an uh, ex uh, the what you can say exhibition sort of thing they converted into that is uh, for mainly for uh, uh, kept all the drawings and all those things uh, made for whom of uh, apj abdul kalam by the children it was exhibited there downstairs is uh, family is staying that family means relatives are staying uh, then he was born in the middle class family not so rich also and uh, it was earlier the uh, rameshwaram was connected to uh, which uh, state uh, madras state father father was not so a very uh, well educated and nor uh, he has lot of uh, money in spite of these disadvantages even though he was not so educated not so much of money uh, his father uh, had a true generosity of spirit and what also innate wisdom what is innate means innate means in born that is a quality of feeling in one's nature so in born he has he himself has that uh, two qualities one is he was very bright that is wisdom and a true generosity of spirit he had an ideal helpmate in my mother so who else is also there for uh, his um, father's support the mother was there ashyama he i do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day what is fed fed is the past tense of feed so actually his mother was very kind and he she is to give food to so many people but i am quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our own family put together so many of them ate the food cooked by whom by his mother uh, if you compare outsiders ate more than his family members i was one of many children a short boy with rather undistinguished looks born to tall and handsome parents i was one of many children so there are many uh, siblings are there that's why he was very short and uh, undistinguished looks the different types of looks he had and he was born to the parents were very tall and handsome parents so that's why he is here written his parents both of them father and mother they were handsome and uh, tall we lived in our ancestral house which was built in the middle of the 19th century it was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and brick on the most street in rameshwaram properly constructed house who had ramesh uh, who had the, our apj abdul abdul kalam's house where was it situated it was situated on the most street in rameshwaram my austri father austri is simple strict and very severe father used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries he was not uh, believing his father was not uh, uh, not believed in what in the luxuries and comforts however all necessities were provided for in terms of food there was no lack of food no lack of medicine or clothes but he doesn't believed in what luxuries 
ஆடம்பரம் லக்ஷுரிஸ் கிளியர் இன் ஃபேக்ட் ஐ வுட் சே மைண்ட் வாஸ் எ வெரி செக்யூர் சைல்ட்ஹுட் போத் மெட்டீரி மெட்டீரியலி அண்ட் இமோஷனலி ஸோ வாட் இ வாட் இஸ் இ சேயிங் இ இஸ் சேயிங் தட் ஹி ஹேட் எ வெரி செக்யூர் சைல்ட்ஹுட் வெரி சேஃப் அண்ட் வெரி வெல் அட்டாச்சு ஃபேமிலி ஹூ ஹேட் ஏபிஜே அப்துல் கலாம் ஹேட் த செகண்ட் வேர்ல்ட் வார் ப்ரோக் அவுட் இன் நைன்டீன் தேர்ட்டி நைன் வென் ஐ வாஸ் எயிட் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் when apj abdul kalam was 80 years old the second world war broke out in which year 1939 for reasons i have never been able to understand a sudden demand for tamarind seeds and erupted in the market tamarind tree you all know puli alle puliyum guru inde demand erupted started where in the market i used to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on moss street so who used to collect the tamarind seed apj abdul kalam as a child he used to collect and he used to sell it in the provision shop provision shop and a day's collection would fetch me the princely sum of 1 anna e princely sum means generous amount here it is a quite uh, anna is an old indian coin worth about 6 by say so i used to collect the seeds and who used to collect the seeds apj abdul kalam used to collect the seeds and he used to sell it in the provision shop and he used to get how much money he used to earn one anna my brother in law jalaudreen would tell me stories about the world war which i would later attempt to trace in the headlines uh, in dinamani so he, his uh, brother in law is very nice and he used to give him the stories related to what related to the world war and later he used to read it from which pay newspaper dinamani our area by uh, being isolated was completely unaffected by the war it is in the another end no so uh, the world war was not affected in their area but soon india was forced to join the allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared what is allied forces means the armed armies of uk usa and russia during the second world war so india was forced to join uh, with them and some a state of emergency emergency declared adiyandra avastha declared in the uh, declared so the first casualty came in the form of suspension of the train halt at rameshwaram station so the their first announcement was no train will be stopped at which station rameshwaram station so newspapers now had to be bundled and thrown out from the moving train on the rameshwaram road between rameshwaram and dhanushkodi so what happened the newspaper delivering the newspaper was a problem so earlier the train is to stop in rameshwaram station and it will be easy for them to uh, what Uh, uh, get the newspaper now what the running train they used to throw the newspapers just see that forced my cousin samsudin who distributed newspapers in rameshwaram to look for a helping hand to catch the bundles and as if naturally i filled the slot 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 is the narrow opening so there he got an opportunity to uh, get in into a job actually one of his cousin samsudin actually distributed the newspapers in uh, where in rameshwaram so the because of the emergency what happened train doesn't stop there so they used to throw the newspapers in the rameshwaram uh, station so who is to go and collect this uh, boy who apj abdul kalam so he got an opportunity to serve samsudin helped me earn my first wages so if, uh, in that way who earned the first salary APJ Abdul Kalam Half a century later I can still feel the surge of pride in earning my own money for the first time Now after few years he was very proud of earning money Every child is born with some inherited characteristics in their specific socio economic and emotional environment trained in certain ways by figures of authority i inherited honesty and self discipline from my father so he is saying that he is making a general statement each and every child is having inheriting some 
inheriting means from the parents they used to get certain characteristics so he also inherited certain qualities what are they honesty and self discipline that's also from whom did he inherit from his father from my mother and from my mother from my father and from my mother i inherited what did he inherit from his mother he i inherited faith in goodness and deep kindness so did my three brothers and sister not only he he is saying his three brothers and sister also inherited these qualities from the parents what are the things he inherited from his father from his father he and his siblings inherited honesty and self discipline and from mother he inherited faith in goodness and deep kindness and i had these uh, three close friends in my childhood so he had uh, spoken about the qualities he inherited from parents now he is speaking about his friends who are his childhood friends ramanatha sastri aravindan and shiva prakashan they are the very uh, close friends of apj abdul kala all these boys were from orthodox hindu brahman families he himself is a muslim but his friends are brahmans as it, as children none of us ever felt any difference among ourselves because of our religious differences and upbringing so they did not know about the caste system and all when they were very small in fact ramanatha sastri was the son of uh, prakashi lakshmana sastri the high priest of rameshwaram temple so his uh, so one of his friend was the son of what the priest clear later he took over the priesthood of rameshwaram temple from his father so uh, his fra fa his uh, friend became the priest of rameshwaram uh, temple uh, he inherited from who from his father aravind then went into business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims and shiva prakashan became a catering ca contractor for the southern railway so uh, his friends all occupied in the jobs one of them became the priest and the other was with the business of arranging transport for uh, vis- pilgrims the third one became cat- uh, catering contractor in the uh, railways during the annual shri sita rama kalyanam ceremony our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of lord from the temple to the marriage site situated in the middle of the port called rama tirtha which was near our house events from the ramayana and from the life of the prophet were the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children in our family this is a very important passage uh, paragraph because here you can see the yeah, about the deep knowledge about his uh, family since it even though they were muslims they had uh, they uh, used to tell the stories of uh, what ramayana during the bed time even his father what he used to do they used to arrange uh, what boats for what purpose in order to transport carry the idols of lord from the temple to the marriage site there is a function called sita rama kalyanam ceremony they they have to uh, take the idols from one place to another place for that purpose the boats were arranged by whose family by the family of apj abdul kalam so next one is from rama the Ra- night time stories bed time stories is to be from where from the ramayana Uh, the grandmother mother and grandmother is to tell them one day when i was in the fifth standard at rameshwaram elementary school a new teacher came to our class i used to wear a cap which marked me as a muslim and i always sat in the friend uh, friend row next to ramanatha sastri who wore the sacred thread the new teacher could not stomach a hindu priest son sitting with a muslim boy in accordance with our social ranking as the new teacher saw it i was asked to go and sit on the back bench that's very bad isn't it see one of the new teacher came and he was sitting in the front bench along with his brahmin friend who did not like it the new teacher did not like it and he asked uh, apj abdul kalam to go and uh, sit in the back bench i felt very sad abdul kalam felt very bad and so did ramanatha shastri he was also sad and his friend was also sad he looked utterly downcast as i shifted my seat in the low last row 
the image of him weeping when I shifted to the last row left a lasting impression on me. So, he was he felt that um, he was not only really sad when he had seen downcast means sad or depressed who had who was uh, very sad and depressed his friend was very sad and he started crying. So, that was uh, that felt uh, whom very bad APJ Abdul Kala. After school, we went home and told our respective parents about the incident. Lakshmana Sastri summoned the teacher and in our presence told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal in intolerance in the minds of innocent children. So, the, uh, his father was very angry. Whose father? His uh, friend's father. Friend's father. What was the name? Lakshmana Sastri. He called the teacher and told him, don't inject the casteism in the, what in whom in the innocent children. So he bluntly asked the teacher either to either apologize, but he just very bluntly. Bluntly means very rudely. He asked you go and ask the sorry from whom from the uh, apologize or quit the school and the island. He asked to uh, ask the teacher to you will be removed. Other, otherwise, you have to apologize. Not only did the teacher regret his behavior, but the strong sense of conviction, conviction means belief, strong belief, uh, conviction, Lakshmana Sastri conveyed ultimately reformed this young teacher. So, when they after listening to Lakshmana Sastri, who also changed, the teacher also changed. When the beginning, he was uh, very much uh, into the casteism, but when Lakshmana Sastri very rudely uh, approached him or uh, asked him to apologize, who also changed the new teacher also changed in his attitude. On the whole, the small society of Rameshwaram was very rigid in terms of segregation of different social groups. Actually, he wanted to tell you that in this very it is a very small society in Rameshwaram, but they are actually as per a segregation of different social group means separation. And uh, however, my science teacher Shiva Subramani Ayer. Though an orthodox Brahmin with a very conservative wife was something of a rebel. So, there uh, those days casteism was there. So, that upper class, lower class, all, all those beliefs were there. But his uh, one of the science teacher was uh, Brahmin. What was his name? She was Subramanya Haya. But he was a rebel. He was, uh, he does not believe in that. What in what? In the casteism. He did his best to break social barriers so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily. He was against casteism and he was fighting against it so that people can all live together happily. He used to spend hours with me and would say, Kalam, I want you to develop so that you are on at par with the highly educated people of big cities. He always, the science teacher always uh, uh, advised him uh, to edu uh, what to work hard so that he can also with the uh, the same status of the people who are educated people living in the cities. One day he invited me to his home for a meal. One day this uh, his one of his science teachers, Shiva Subramaniya, asked him to have join him for what for the meal. <coughs> his teacher's wife was horrified at the idea of a Muslim boy being invited to dine in her ritually poor kitchen. See. He, who was angry for that? His, <coughs> sorry, his science teacher's wife was angry because he, she was not ready to allow a Muslim boy entering into her kitchen. Well, what type of kitchen it is written? Ritually pure. Ritually pure kitchen means kept protected from all outside influences for the observances of religion. She refused to serve me in her kitchen. Shiva Subramani Ayer was not perturbed. Perturbed means worried. Nor did he get angry with his wife. But instead served me with his own hands. And sat down beside me to eat his meal. Shiva Subramani Ayer was not angry at all. When his wife told him that she is not ready to serve food for a Muslim boy. What did he do? The sir served him. Uh, in, uh, and he sat beside him and ate the food. His wife watched us from behind the kitchen door. So, Shiva Subramanya's wife was observing them, uh, hiding behind the door. 
I wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way I ate rice, drank water or cleaned the floor after the meal. So, he is thinking about it. <coughs> APJ Abdul Kalam, she say, he is saying that he was uh, thinking what is the difference between the way I eat food and uh, the Brahmin sir. Uh, who is the, what is the name? Shiva Subramanya 8. <coughs> when I was leaving his house, Shiva Subramanya Iyer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend. So, science teacher was very particular. He said that, Abdul Kalam, you must come for the next weekend also for the dinner to their house. Observing my hesitation, he told me not to get upset, saying, once you decide to change the system, such problems have to be confronted. Who was not ready to uh, accept the invitation? APJ Abdul Kalam. Why? Because he did not like the attitude of who? Shiva Subramanya's wife. Isn't it? She, she refused to allow him to enter the kitchen. <coughs> then what was the reply given by Subramanya, Shiva Subramanya? He said that. Uh, we, he has to, we have to change this system. What is the system they have to change? The casteism, the discrimination, isn't it? He said that. So, if you have to change the system, we have to fight against this. When I visited his house the next week, Shiva Subramanya's wife took me inside her kitchen, served me food with her own hands. See the change? Next week, when he went to visit his uh, Shiva Subramanya's house, who actually uh, served the food for him? His sir's wife served him the food. Then the second world was war, war was over and India's freedom was imminent. Uh, imminent means likely to happen soon. Indians will build their own India, declared Gandhiji. So at uh, that time Gandhiji declared that India will, Indians will build their own kingdom. So the whole country was filled with an unprecedented optimism. Unprecedented means never happened before. Mumba kanatha rivirulla shifapti vishwasam, optimism. I asked my father for permission to leave Rameshwaram and study at the district headquarters in Ramanathapuram. So at that moment, IPJ Abdul Kalam had taken the permission from his father to leave Rameshwaram and join where? Uh, in Ramanathapuram for the higher studies. He told me, who is he here? Uh, APJ Abdul Kalam's father. He told me as if thinking aloud, Abul, I know you have to go away to grow. Uh, you have to progress, isn't it? So you have to leave this village. Does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest? He quoted uh, Khalil Gibran to my hesitant mother. Mother was little worried because who is uh, going uh, going away from Rameshwaram? APJ Abdul Kalam. So he asked, he started quoting whose words? Khalil Gibran. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. They are coming through you, but not from you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. Mingada chindagala, namada kutigala namale, kutin rakan, padilla. For they have their own thoughts. Because once they are grown up, they have their own thoughts. That's what who said? APJ Abdul Kalam quoted the words of Khalil Gibran. Why did he quote these words? Because APJ Abdul Kalam wanted to go to Ramanathapuram for his higher studies. Who is not interested? APJ Abdul Kalam's mother is a little hesitant to send him away from Rameshwaram. So that who quoted these words? APJ Abdul Kalam's father quoted these words. What did he say? Your children are not your children. And they are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you but not from you. You may give them your love but not your thoughts. Neham kodikaram ningana chindagal averil kutinarakerda. For they have their own thoughts. They have to decide themselves. I hope you understood. The last paragraph is very important. If you have any doubts, you can contact me. Thank you.